In an industry filled with an increased amount of data, faster information flow, and more types of real-time information, bandwidth is a significant concern. Firms are balancing the amount of data to ingest against the size of their network infrastructure. With many internal consumers requesting more and more information, market data managers and technologists find this balance almost untenable. In addition, these bandwidth costs are a rising concern for firms and reducing these are a priority. To be proactive, firms want to pay for just the right amount of data, but how do they know what bandwidth they need? There are many sources of information regarding message rates, including the upstream source, as well as industry associations, such as a financial information forum. The FIF gives lots of pertinent information regarding bandwidth, including peak rates, messages per second, and monthly changes, among other information. I would suggest that anyone in the market data industry join these types of associations to help them understand what drives message rates. At NASDAQ OMX, we provide bandwidth recommendations, but understand that these are just averages. This information is based on historical data and potential upcoming changes, but there is no real way to measure upcoming trade and quoting intent or extreme market events. These unpredictable market swings cause an increased amount of data flowing through networks. While these are difficult to predict, firms should allow for enough overhead such that these events do not affect their networks. Firms should use all of the previously mentioned information, as well as monitoring their own networks to understand the actual amount of data they are using. Combining all of these methods should create a good barometer of message traffic and help shape the appropriate amount of bandwidth. For firms that are looking to lower bandwidth, there are typically other options, including throttling, conflation, or compression. Throttling and conflation are similar in that they only send a certain amount of data at a time. Throttling actually holds back data such that only a certain amount of data is sent, whereas conflation actually drops messages. While these aren't the best answers for all systems, they may be viable for some firms. At NASDAQ OMX, we continue to listen to our customers to better understand how to minimize bandwidth and help firms save costs.